and it'll take you to this screen. And when you get here, scroll down until you see the orange download button. Click on that. Save it to your computer. Put it on the desktop. Hit save. It's a pretty small file. Well, here's um, the folder that downloaded. It's a zipped folder. And what you're going to want to do is take the contents and actually drag it out onto the desktop. That'll unzip it. So you'll see that's just taking a little bit of time here. Alright, it just unzipped, so you'll see it on the desktop as I dragged it. You'll see the zipped folder on top and the extracted one on the bottom. So we'll just double click on that. And then inside is the program. Now you can't actually install this program as far as I'm aware, so you need to keep this folder somewhere so you can always access all the documents and then also have the all all the necessary program files that are needed to run it. So once you open that up, click on the program. It's the only one with colorful icons. Double click on that. It asks you asks you for permission, hit run. Alright, so now here is the program, Ice-T. Now, just come over here to select, and we're going to come over here to Desktop, and we're going to find, well actually, we have to change this file name down here. Here's the full screen so you can see how this works. It's down here. Click on this and click on ISO because the file we outputted was an ISO file. If you do not do this, it will not show on up here. So, double click on the Spyro or whatever you called your file. This is the ISO that we outputted with alcohol 120 percent. Now there's some options here. Over here at game ID you probably don't have to mess with it. What's important though is that each game has a different number. Over here is compression. Um, I believe the further you compress it the worse quality it is. Personally I'm going to go with no compression but each game takes up about 600 megabyte and the usual stick has about a gigabyte, so you really couldn't load two games on a stick if you do this if you have a one gigabyte stick. But there are eight gigabyte sticks out there, and that would allow you to put, um, let me see, it'd be about 12, 600 megabyte um, games. So it's up to you. I'm going to go not, no compression for best quality. Now here in game title, you can name this whatever you want. It's going to show up in, on your PSP. I'm going to call this Spyro the Dragon. Now it asks you, where do you want to output it? Well, hit the Save button. And it will ask you up here where you want to put it. We're going to put it on the desktop. And you're going to have to call this eBoot. So, hit Save. and then click on the let's go button it will come up with a screen as it converts it will let you know its progress if you choose compression I believe it's going to take longer to actually convert from an ISO file to the eboot file which is necessary for the PSP to read it
Alright, successfully created eBoot. So, click OK. You can get out of Ice T. You can also get out of the Ice T folder. And now we're going to connect the PSP. Alright, after you've connected your PSP and went into USB mode, click on Start. Click on Computer. By the way, if you don't know how to go into USB mode, simply watch the tutorial I had on putting flash games on your PSP. I explain it pretty well there. Now, click on Memory Stick or whatever your computer calls your PSP after you've connected it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on we're going to click on PSP and then we're going to go to game. Now you might not have all these folders but the one you want to go into is game and it has to be all capitalized and if it's not there, then you can create it and make sure they're all capitalized. Now, you're going to want to make a folder. I suggest making the folder name whatever the game is that you want to put in. So, come over here. Uh, actually, I don't see it. Okay. Click on New. Then come over here to Folder. In the folder, we're going to type Spyro. I don't believe it matters if there's a space. Like if I wanted to say Crash Bandicoot, I don't know if you're allowed to put a space in or not. You'll just have to try that yourself. I haven't tried it yet. So double click on Spyro. Now you're in the Spyro folder. Now we're going to go over here to the desktop and you'll see that nifty little eBoot that we created with Ice-T. We're going to simply drag it in here. That's going to put it on your PSP in the Spyro folder we just made. Now it might take some time, so I'm going to fast forward and come back. 